Guys, for all the solutions of this book, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. I've been working hard of putting all the problems into one convenient place for you to be able to do your homework easily. So pay us a visit. All right, guys, let's do these two problems that say the 30 Newton uniform rod has a length of L of one meter and S of 1.5 meters. Determine the distance H of placement at the end A along the smooth wall for equilibrium. And then the second problem is pretty much the same thing. Just express H in terms of L and the weight and S, which whatever is given. So I'm gonna do these pro two problems together to save time. So let's get to it. This problem is all about trigonometry and one little clever realization, which we're gonna do together. So let's draw the free body diagram. You know that you have the weight of the rod going down here which is right at the halfway point of the rod and you know that you have this tension going along the string towards C and then you know that you have a reaction that is going to be going to the right let's call this AX and there's no AY because it's a smooth uh, it's a smooth wall so and, and it's going to the right okay you know that it's going to the right because the tension T it's going to the left, so that it's going to be going to the right to make up for it. Now, the realization that you have to make about this pro about this problem is this point right here. And I'm going to call this the point E. So, if you were to do the sum of the moments at point E, you know that it is equal to zero. But check this out. The weight is going straight away from point E. So the weight is not generating any moment. T is going straight to point E. So T is not generating any moment. Then you have AX. You know AX is not, um, it's not equal to zero. Sorry, that was a programming knot. It's not equal to zero because the tension is not equal to zero. So AX has to have some force. But if you're doing the sum of the moments about E and the weight and T are not generating any moment since they're going straight to it, the only way AX is not equal to zero and it's not generating any moment is if it's going straight to AE. So that's important to realize it, that AX is going straight to this halfway point, which means that if I was to draw this line right here, and I'm going to go call this point D, I'm going to call this point D. It means that this distance right here, which I'm going to call X, since AX is going to straight to E, which is the halfway point, it means that H is equal to X. And this is important. I'm going to call this equation one. And now the problem becomes much easier because we have a bunch of right triangles and we love right triangles in physics. So let's get to it. The first triangle I'm going to work on is the outer triangle, which I'm going to redraw right here. And I know that I have C, I have B, and I have D. And then I know that the distance from here to here is X plus H, which is also equal to 2H, because I know that what I just showed you, H is equal to X. Now, let's do some basic trigonometry now. You know that CB square by the Pythagorean theorem is equal to BD square plus CD square, right? Now, you know that CB is S, given right here. You know that this is 2H, and you know that BD is BD. So, let's just replace them. S square is equal to bd square plus cd which is x plus h square now s square is equal to bd square plus 2h square and if we solve for bd actually we solve for bd square we're gonna get that bd square is equal to s square minus 4h square. 
call this 2. Now I'm going to work with this inner triangle right here. Drawing like a smaller triangle, which is composed of A, B, and D. And this is L, this is the length given right here, and this is H. It's H, it's, all, it's X, and it's also H. Let's put X equals H because this is what we found right here that made the problem so much easier. So based on this triangle, you know that AB squared Pythagorean theorem is equal to AD squared plus BD squared. A, uh, AB is equal to L, so L squared is equal to AD, which is H squared plus BD squared. We solve for BD squared and it is equal to L squared minus h square. Call this equation 3. But look, pd square, pd square. So you could set these two equations equal to each other. So let's switch as that. s square minus 4h square, which is this part of the equation, is equal to this part of the equation, which is equal to l square minus h square. So now let's just solve for H, which is what we're trying to find. We're trying to find H for equilibrium. So H, let's actually do it by steps. 3 H square is equal to S square minus L square. So I added 4 H square to both sides. That's what I did just now. And then we solve for H and you're going to get that H is equal to S square minus L square divided by 3, all square rooted. That's at square root, I swear. A little pretty. And this is the answer for the second part of the problem, which is determine H in terms of SNL. Now, to finish the first part of the problem, we're given that L is equal to 1 and S is equal to 1.5. And given that, we just got to plug them into this equation. And we get that h is equal to s, which is 1.5 square minus l, which is 1 square, all over 3, square rooted. And you just plug this into your calculator, and you should get that h is equal to 0.6455 meters. And this is the answer for the first problem. So final answer for H for equilibrium if L is equal to 1 and S is equal to 1.5 meters and this is the equation and final answer for the second part which is find H for equilibrium in terms of L and H.